Hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Boot Camp. And today I have a fun workout plan for us. I mean, I say that every time, but it's always a good workout. Um, so today we're gonna do three rounds here. We're gonna do 45, 15. And I'm gonna go ahead real quick with a demo and then we'll get right into it. Um we don't need any equipment. We just need enough space to be on our hands and toes on the ground. Um, but if you always, as always, you're always welcome to grab some weights or anything you'd like to make it a little bit more challenging for you today. Um, but we're going to go ahead. First movement here. So for our demo here, we're going to do pike push-ups to start. Move my camera here. So first off, pike push-ups on our hands and toes, hips towards the ceiling. Coming down, bring our head in between our hands. Pushing the ground away, right back up. So that's going to be our first movement. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and do a... So you can either choose between a wall sit or a squat hold. So I don't have a wall that is in frame. So I'm just going to hold my wall sit at the bottom. So you can either... Or my wall sit. Hold my squat at the bottom. So you can either hold like this or you can go against that wall and do a wall sit. So up to you there. Um, but we're going to hold that the whole time. And then after that, we're going to do more push-ups. We're going to do three, sec three second eccentric push-ups here. So hands and toes coming down. One, two, three. You can either push yourself back up or you can get back up for if you need to. But again, whatever, as always, whatever feels good for you today, as long as we are doing that movement there. So that's movement number uh, three. And then after that, we're going to stand on up. We're going to do curtsy lunge with the squat in between. So going back behind diagonal into our curtsy lunge and a squat and a curtsy lunge and a squat. So that's going to be our fourth movement. And then for our cardio, we're going to do squat pulses into a squat jump. So three pulses, one jump. So feet hip width apart. We're going to do one, two, three and jump. So if jumping is not available to you today, no problem. Just do three and a full squat, which I might be switching to because my hip is really bothering me today. And then finally, for our last movement, we're going to do a triple switch into single leg Romanian deadlift. So we're right here. One, two, three. Push your hips back. Push ground away. And then one, two, three. Same thing there. So... That's going to be our whole workout for today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up. So coming to the top of our space, we're going to go ahead and interlace our fingers, grabbing onto one of our knees, if I can have balance today, and pulling our knees towards our chest. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, step back, reverse lunge, keeping our back leg nice and straight. Hands coming down on the inside of our front foot keeping our back leg nice and straight nice big deep breath and we're going to exhale opening up towards our front leg thumb facing behind us looking at our palm breathing into our belly really opening up our hips here and we're going to go ahead and exhale plant our hand outside of our front foot bring our back foot a little bit closer and Push our hips up into our hamstring stretch. Nice big deep breath here. And we're going to go ahead and exhale. Bring our feet together. Push ground away and stand on up. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to interlace our fingers, grabbing onto our other knee, pulling our knee towards our chest. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, step back, reverse lunge. Bring your hands down on the inside of our front foot. Keep our back leg nice and straight here. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, opening up towards our front leg. Thumb facing behind us, gazing past our thumb. Breathing into our belly here. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, plant our hand outside of our front foot, bring our back a little bit closer and push ourselves up into our hamstring stretch. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, bring our feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. 
All right. Next up here, we're going to do a little bit of planks of pikes. So we're going to go ahead onto our hands and toes into our nice plank position. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, push our hips up into our pike or our down dog position. We can start to pedal our heels if that feels good. I like to really drive both my heels into the ground, really opening up our calves and our hamstrings. And we can go ahead and come back to our plank. Push back up. And back down. Two more coming up. And back down. And last one. And then we can go ahead back to our plank and then gently bring our knees to the ground as we are starting with Pike push ups. So, like I said, we're going to do 40. Oh my gosh, I almost said 40 rounds. We're going to do three rounds 45, 15. Um, starting on, on the ground with our pike push ups. I'm going to get my timer ready here. I didn't open it up beforehand. We got two seconds. All right, starting with 45 seconds of pike push ups. Three, two, one, and go. So, hands and toes. Hips up towards the ceiling, and we're going to bring our head as close to the ground in between our hands as we can, and then pushing the ground away. Still keeping our core engaged, so that way our back is nice and flat. Going to make it a little bit more challenging by going nice and slow down, and exploding back up. Great job. Working on our shoulders here. Three, two, one. I almost went the whole time without my glasses falling off. All right, next up, we're either, we're either going to do a wall sit or a holding at the bottom of our squat. Um, I don't have a wall in frame, so I'm going to hold here. Three, two, one. So feet hip width apart, bringing our hips down as low as we can to the bottom of our squat. Keeping our chest up and open. If we are doing a wall sit, I want 90 degree angles in our knees and in our hips. We're holding here. Um, if the bottom of the squat is available to you, try and hold that as long as you can. If not, we really want to go down as low as we can without our low back rounding. So we want our core to be engaged. So zip that core up. And then really making sure our knees are over our second toe. Our chest is in the middle here, spreading our weight out evenly throughout our whole foot. Focus on the breath here. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have eccentric push-ups. So we're going to lower ourselves three seconds down. You can either um, three, two, one. One, so we're here, hands and toes, screwing our hands into the ground, lowering ourselves, one, two, three. And you can either push yourself back up or you can go all the way to the ground and get up however you need to. Um, I think that I might go down on my knees so that way I can work on still pushing myself back up. So I think I only really have two in me to do for my hands and toes and lower myself that slowly and push myself back up. One of them was in the warm up or in the demo and one of them <laughs> was right now. So being mindful too of what we can push for today. Three, two, one. All right, awesome. Next up we're standing back up. We have curtsy lunge with the squat in between. So we're alternate our sides here. Three, two, one. So we have back behind diagonal. The headlights on our hips are blinding the camera. So we don't want to be opening up this way. We want to turn here. That's going to activate our core. That's also going to make sure that all of our weight is in our front glute. If we're turned, we're going to feel that more in our knee and our quad versus if we turn forward, we're going to feel that in the glute. And then doing our squat in the middle and the other side. You can always make it a little bit more challenging by going nice and slow. Get out of pause. You can add a pulse. 
whatever feels good. If you have a dumbbell, I definitely recommend having it underneath your chin. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have squat pulses. We're going to do three pulses into a jump for our cardio here. Three, two, one. So keeping our feet hip width apart. Toes are forward. We're coming down. One, two, three. Jump, landing nice and softly into the next one. So really important here, keeping our chest up. We don't want to be squatting here. We want our butt down, chest up, butt to belly button. All of our things checked off our checklist. Landing nice and soft. And my my hip is mad at me from sitting down so much between the ferry and working all day. Not used to sitting that much. Three, two, one. All right. Last up here, we have triple switch into our single leg RDL. Three, two, one. So one knee up, we got one, two, three. Pushing our hips back, pushing the ground away. We really wanna feel that in our glutes and our hamstrings. The goal is to not feel, we don't necessarily wanna push our hips until we feel a stretch, right? We don't wanna just bend forward here. That's more of a stretch. We wanna push our hips back. It's so like we're closing that door with our butt. And keeping our weight in our whole foot here. Great job. Three, two, one. Okay. Round one is done. We are ready for round two into our pike push ups. And then three, two, one. So bringing our head as close to the ground as we can. Driving through, pushing the ground away. We're gonna feel this mainly in our shoulders, our core is engaged. We're also gonna feel a little bit maybe in our lats because we're keeping our back nice and flat. Great job. Lots of push ups today. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we are either doing a wall set or holding the bottom of our squat. Three, two, one. So feet hip width apart. If we're doing a wall sit, we want to be about 90 degrees here with our back against the wall. Or we can hold at the bottom of our squat. So I'm going to hold right about here. Chest is staying open. Okay. My hip is really not happy with me today. Reset here. Go ahead, reset if you need to. Count to three and right back into it. My goodness, my body is not happy with me today. Doing great here. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have eccentric push ups. Coming down onto the ground. You can either do hands and knees or hands and toes. Three, one. Okay. So run those hands into the ground. If we're on our knees, nice and straight from our shoulders to our hips to our knees. Even if we're on our toes, one straight line. It's going to keep our core engaged. Going down nice and slow, three seconds. It's going to help us really recruit more muscle fibers from our chest. You know, we don't necessarily 
need to work our chest out much because of our workday position. Should have done some bent over tees today. Three, two, one. Never have enough of those. Okay. Next up, we have curtsy lunge into our squat. Three, two, one. Back behind diagonal. Okay, come on, legs. We got to go. We got to go. There we go. Sometimes our mind has to tell our body what to do. <laughs> no, our bodies usually are a little bit more resilient. But we got this. We're getting used to doing in-person stuff, doing our virtual stuff. My body got to got to get used to commuting too. So, just bear with me here. We got a little bit of changes coming in. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have our jump squat. Three pulses into a squat. Three, two, one. So we're doing three pulses and you can either do one full squat or one jump, whatever feels better, whatever's more available to you today and whatever you can do consistently pushing through the whole 45 seconds. So if you can do maybe half and half, you can do that. Whatever feels good for you today. I don't know why my back is tensing up right now. First, it was my hip. Now, so back. We're good. We're pushing. Like I said, whatever we can push through and do for today. Three, two, one. You all know I always preach recovery, rest. If you're not feeling good, take back up again tomorrow. Take the rest when you need it. We got to learn to listen to our bodies here. We got our triple switches. Three, two, one. Done are the days with the no days off mentality. I really hope we all at least take two rest days a week if we're working out a lot. Work plus rest equals success. And that's not only rest from workouts, but working out, working, everything is really a stressor on our bodies, on our minds. So we got to make sure we're taking time out for ourselves. Getting some rest in, whether you are doing some yoga or meditation or just stretching. Three, two, one. I always recommend doing that. And I know I need to be better about that as well. So I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm talking to myself too. All right. Last round coming up, pike push-ups. Three, two, one. Last round here. And then we're going to do some pretzel to cool down. I definitely am in need of some rotation through my low back. It's going to help us open up our hips and our shoulders and back as well. So the pretzel, just like the world's greatest stretch, really stretches everything and gets all aspects of what we worked on today. Much like burpees work all of our energy systems as well, pretzel is like a, the burpees of stretching in my mind. So we're going to end with that today. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we're holding the bottom of our squat or a wall sit. Again, whatever is available to us today. Three, two, one. And then I wrote this class up yesterday, totally forgetting that tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So tomorrow we are spelling out clover. That's our theme for tomorrow, like four leaf clovers. Everything else is too long. So we're doing clover tomorrow. So be ready for a fun workout tomorrow. And then we got functional fitness Friday on Friday. So we're doing lots of different types of workouts today. And if you happen to be in the area and in the office, Definitely set up for class next week. Um, yesterday's boot camp was so fun. 
to be back in person. So if you are available and you can't make it in, definitely do that and sign up. Three, two, one. All right, there we go. Next up, push-ups. We got our eccentric push-ups. Three, two, one. And it's nice to be back in action, in person, in the office. So if you're ever in area or coming into San Francisco, come by, say hi, join an in-person class. You can always do a virtual class from a conference room as well if you needed because, as you can see, I'm using this space to teach. Um, but we do have some classes and I'm working on adding a few more. So, great job. Finish on with our push-ups here. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, done with push-ups today. Next up, we have curtsy lunge into squat. And then we have our squat pulses and triple switches, and we're going to be done. Three, two, one. Thought I skipped something for a second. Because y'all know I'm either missing exercises or I miss <laughs> not paying attention to the time. Like I said, you can always make it a little bit more challenging. Add a pulse in, add a pause in, or some weights. Making sure our chest is staying open and up. We want a parallel line between our shin and our chest and our upper body. Keeping our weight in our front foot. Three, two, one. All right, we got squat jump, three pulses to a jump, and then triple switches. And like I said, we're going to be on the ground for some breath to cool down. Three, two, one. Just want to do one, two, three. Everything is in threes for our cardio. I'm just going to do a regular squat, I think. Good job. Finishing strong. The third round is always challenging. We're a little tired. At least I'm tired. <laughs> Not like I was for round one. Great job. for pushing. Getting the most out of this workout here. Three, two, one. All right. Last one. Last movement of the day. Triple switches and do our single leg RDL. Three. Two, one. One, two, three. Push your hips back. Push the ground away. Great job. Switch in here. Really being nice and long. If the stability is not working out for us today, go ahead, drop your toe down. Do a kickstand. We're almost there, finishing strong. Try and do one more on each leg if we can. Three, two, one. And that is gonna be it for today's circuit. So go ahead, grab a sip of water. If you need it, we're gonna go ahead and be on our side, on the ground. So choosing whichever side you want to start on. And we have our checklist here. So on our side, top leg is going to come up over, across, knee and ankle on the ground. Bottom hand on top of our knee. Top hand grabbing onto our bottom foot or ankle. We're going to inhale to prepare and exhale, bringing our shoulder towards the ground. 
We're going to do a few deep breaths here and throw an open into our belly. And exhaling, drawing away our tension. Really let our body sink further to the ground. And let's go ahead and do one more breath here. And as we finish our exhale, we can gently release our bottom leg. And when we're ready, we'll go ahead and roll over onto our other side. So here, same checklist, top leg coming up over across our body, bottom hand on top of our knee, top hand grabs onto our bottom foot or ankle. We're going to inhale to prepare. And we're going to exhale, bringing our top shoulder towards the ground. Really making those exhales longer than our inhales. Relaxing every muscle in our body. We're going to go ahead and do one more breath here. And as we finish our exhale, we can gently release out of that. And feel free to stay lying on the ground, or you can return to a seated kneeling or standing position. But that is going to be all the time for I have for us today. So thank y'all for joining me. Great job today. And I will hopefully see y'all again tomorrow for Exercise X.